So um, uh, the vet team and the herpetological team here at Chester Zoo have been working with um, RF, the reticulated python, today. And uh, we've been um, giving her a general health check. Uh, and uh, that means checking out, that makes sure that um, she's um, healthy on the outside as well as the inside, checking her scales, checking her um, body weight, checking some measurements. Uh, and at the same time, it means the keepers can give her enclosure, a bit of a spruce up while she's not in there. Uh, and uh, one of the um, procedures that we've been doing is um, looking at her heart using ultrasound. Uh, what we're hoping to learn with the ultrasound from uh, RF and Snake's point of view is um, we can tell an awful lot from the, of, about the health of the heart and the heart muscle from um, taking measurements from cardiac ultrasound, from the heart ultrasound, uh, and how the heart is moving, the blood flow. So it's looking at her overall heart health. We were today very successful at getting very different views um, to assess the heart muscle movement, as Steve has mentioned, and the blood flow within the heart. And we are now hoping to learn and analyse uh, our data that we've collected today to understand uh, the heart a bit more and hopefully extend our knowledge to uh, further assessments in the future. Snakes have a very interesting um, heart physiology and anatomy uh, in that their um, heart size, perfectly normally, will increase and decrease through their feeding cycle. And uh, that's very interesting to be able to see and be able to measure because in those of us such as humans and, and other mammals who can't do that, the only time when we have a, a large heart muscle or a small heart muscle is in um, when we have disease, in what's called cardiomyopathy. And so what we're hoping to see is that how these snakes are able to do this and what, the, what, the, what their actual uh, mechanical um, measurements we take of the heart to see if that can help inform how we can improve um, uh, the therapy we give in um, cardiac muscle um, disease issues in uh, humans and potentially other animals as well.